having a bad day, I can be out here in minutes. So it's really nice because you can just see so far out. I think this is a place where landscape shapes you. Being able to drive and see antelope and snow fences and mountains and sagebrush and sun. My name is Nina McConaughey, and I wrote the book Cowboys and East Indians. I always say the book's about being the wrong kind of Indian in Wyoming. We wear a bindi, not, not a feather. I think it's really hard to walk out of the door every single day and to never see a reflection of yourself. Like, I think that is the hardest part for me about living in Wyoming. I was born in Singapore to an Indian-born mother, and my father grew up in Ireland. And he was working for an oil company that transferred us from Singapore to Wyoming, which is, was quite a shock. I think because we've been one of the Indian families that have lived here the longest, my mom is often called in to be a translator at the hospital. So we've met people who've been in car accidents. We've met people who've been arrested. Or we just ran into them, you know, in, at the grocery store, and my mom's like, that person looks Indian. Let's follow them. I, I think I internalized that a lot and wanted to, to later write about it and to write about some of the more odd circumstances, whether it be a car accident, whether it be an exchange student, whether it be, you know, someone who is a cross-dresser wanting to wear a sari. <laughs> it's a hard thing for me to talk about race with people, especially because I live here. I feel like if I fictionalize it, if I put it in a story, I put it in a context that I think people can understand. It's been interesting since the book's come out to have people read it, have, you know, people I've known my whole life in Wyoming who sort of have said, like, I didn't know that was hard for you here. My very first morning in India, I woke up really early and I remember I went out of the gates of my auntie's house and I went and stood on the street and I was looking around and I was 23 years old and I realized it was the first time in my life I wasn't in the minority. But yet to look around that street, I couldn't have felt more distant from every brown person around me. And then to also be like, wow, I'm so Wyoming because I'm freaked out by like cars whizzing past and all the people. I love jackalopes, I love antlers. I have a tattoo of a covered wagon and of a jackalope. I love that stuff, I do. Every story in that book is me trying to figure out something about identity and figure out something about how I fit in here. And a lot of people don't know what I am. They're, you know, are you Native American? Are you Middle Eastern? Are you, what are you? And I think I'm always thinking about what am I? <laughs>